Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. If you don't know who I am, I'm Red Wrath, and today I'll be walking through how to use the Red Dragon software, specifically for the Red Dragon Fizz RGB. To use the Red Dragon software, first you have to download it. You can go to reddragonshop.com, then go to the downloads page, then either scroll for your item or search for it in the bar. You'll likely need to use the um, number of it, so for my example, I have the Red Dragon K617 RGB, which is also the Fizz RGB, but you might just need to use the number. Once you've downloaded the software and opened it, you'll get this screen here. So as you can see when you open it, you see your keyboard, all the LEDs, what LEDs are where. You can choose, if this box is checked, you can adjust your LEDs, how bright they are, the speed at which they move, colors, RGB, and then also the setting. So you can just kind of, I don't know, so if I press on that, you can see you can like just see how it goes. It's, it's, it's very fun. There's a lot of settings. Reaction. Sets up one. Um, like there's just tons of settings. It's a lot, and it's also very customizable. You can also just set it off if you want. Um, which I'm gonna leave it off for this video, just because it's very bright and you can't see what keys I'm pressing otherwise. So then, also in the software you have export profile and import profile. You can share profiles you find if you have settings, macros. We'll talk more about in a minute or just lighting things you want to share with your friends you can do that for so profile one two and three this is just three different settings to apply them you just hit apply As you can see my keyboard lights up we go to this one apply where there's nothing really much and you can see that these are macros right here we'll mess with that in a minute go back to profile one nothing happens so if you want to set a macro you have to go to any of these three profiles we're going to use profile 3 for this, it doesn't, doesn't matter, you can use profile 1 if you want to have these set up constantly. Then you can, um, you have to unselect this box here or you will not be able to edit it. As you can see those go away. When I heal the border line, represents that as a custom function and that will not work because when you have its light on, if you go to self-define, you are selecting things with that. So you cannot select a macro that way. So if we turn it off and turn it off the lights you can still do this with the rgb on you just have to have the light check box off to set a macro you have to hit macro editor you need to hit you need to right click here new macro and you're gonna do um we can just say this whatever i'm gonna name this one number line so you're gonna hit start record and you're gonna type in whatever you want only keyboard settings work, not mouse. So I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then I'm gonna hit stop record. And then if you realize, oh, I want to add a space in after this, you can um, add, you can add key down, like when you press down on a key, add an instrument when the key goes back up, a delay, a left button, a right button, or a middle button. So I can go and select anywhere on here, we can just go to the end, we can hit insert event, key down, and we can put a, um, let's put an R, so we can put an R, it auto does the key up, key down there, and if we hit save, we can go back to this, when you click on the R, or any letter, you can hit macro, media, but we can use the key assignment, macro, so I'm going to select number line. So, that is now set. We can apply it. Then we can open a number pad. Then we can open a number pad. And when I press R, it just starts typing. As you can see, I'm not doing anything. It's just going, it's going R, R. Um, so that's pretty cool. I'd say some stuff. So you can also do, I set up several ones. You can do them to um, copy. So I have C, if I press C, it, selects all and then it copies it. When I go down to New Life, I press Control V, it copies it, it copies it, copies it. I'll show you that macro really quick. Um I'm gonna copy all. It's just control A A A. So that's how you set a macro. That's the Red Dragon software. Um it's pretty cool. You do a lot of fun things with macros. Set up any sort of thing you can set up predefined messages, commands, just little things, especially if you have smaller keyboards. If you only use it for like gaming, you can use, and you just don't type, you can use them to set like predefined messages here. You don't use certain keys. So, 
that's the Red Dragon software. Hope you all enjoyed. Hope you learned something. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.